Right. Talk to me about the, there's a, a lot of debate going on about uh, the masks. Uh, how useful are the masks? Who should wear the mask? The infected person or uh, uh, a person who's not infected, who's, who's trying to avoid being infected? Who should actually be wearing the masks? Yeah, I think that's a very important question, uh, Trevor. I think what's happening is that um, regarding masks, I think, you know, as the disease evolves, uh, people's uh, advice, or rather the advice from WHO and authorities is changing. Yeah. Uh, there are some authorities that actually say that, uh, you know, people should be wearing masks all the time when they're out there or interacting with other people. Now, the challenge with that is that the number of masks that are available is not enough mm. uh, to, you know, to meet that sort of uh, a standard where everybody is wearing a mask. Right. Uh, the guidelines that the WHO has put out at the moment is that if you are healthy and you're not sneezing or coughing, there's no need for you to be wearing a mask. Okay. But if you're a caregiver, you're on the front line looking after patients with COVID or people that have uh, upper respiratory tract illnesses, then obviously you should protect yourself by wearing a mask. That is very, very important. Mm. Uh, if you yourself are unwell, you're sneezing, you're coughing, you obviously should wear a mask so that you, know, you do not infect other people. Now, in saying that, it is important to know how to wear a mask. Right. Um, and I would urge people to go onto the WHO web website there are video clips which show people how to wear a mask. Because quite often people put on a mask and then they touch the front of the mask and you know, infect themselves. Mm -hmm. um, wearing a mask does not remove the other things that you need to do, like washing your hands and social distancing. It's just mm -hmm. part of the many things that you have to do to minimize your chances of getting infected.